Hi everybody, my name is Jasmine Ward and I'm one of the John Dewey Fellowship recipients this year. And I just wanted to take the time to extend my gratitude and what an honor it is to be supported by this fellowship, especially in such financially challenging times. This kind of support really allows for me to be able to focus on the things that are important to me, like my clients and my students and my research and any type of help with the financial burden of graduate school frees up a lot of energy and time, both of which are invaluable to me. So again, I just wanted to say thank you and convey that I am beyond grateful for the support. Thank you so much for selecting me as a recipient of the James and Carol Dixon Fellowship. It means a lot to me as a special education teacher, as well as a reading teacher in a virtual setting. I'm really appreciative for this award and it will help me particularly navigate school and my projects in the virtual setting and as a first time mom. So I really appreciate it and congratulations to everybody else here. Hello everyone, my name is Maria Espitia and I am a graduate student pursuing my Master's of Education as well as Education Specialist Credential and Moderate to Severe Disabilities at UCSB's Teacher Education Program. I have received the PEAK Community Fellowship which emphasizes bringing in diversity to the field of education within the Santa Barbara Unified School District. The PEAK Fellowship improved my opportunities in graduate school by allowing me to pursue a credential in the special education field, which typically lacks representation of minority educators. I hope to not only inspire my students to advocate for their acceptance and inclusion in society, but also to recognize that people from different backgrounds and abilities can excel in the field of their choosing and be valued members of their communities. Hello, my name is Donald McNish and I would like to thank everyone for my receipt of the Dorman Commons Scholarship. As an educator returning to grad school, we give up a salary and position in order to research on how to make education more equitable for California students. So I'd like to thank you for this award. It means a lot and it serves in my development as an education researcher. Research that I hope will engender and empower both the diversity and the equity of our future students and our future leaders. I do want to say thank you very, very much to all the donors here today. I don't think that even we as recipients ever fully understand how much validation something like a fellowship brings us. <laughs> You're probably thinking, really validation? That's what this girl's thanking us for? But yeah, because of the communities that I represent, I've been socialized to believe that I'm not enough. Being the only Latina in my math cohort reminds me that I'm in a space that wasn't built for me. So I hope you can imagine that at times, it does become difficult to feel validated, both as a female student trying to advocate for my communities and as a teacher, trying to remind my students that they are enough, that they will be enough because I am enough. This fellowship has given me the voice to tell my students that these spaces are changing because people now are making sure we belong here. You all are making sure that we exist and thrive in these spaces. And I can't thank you enough for that. You all have given me and my communities a reality that our ancestors dreamed of. You've all given us this validation that has become our Si Se Puede. For that, we thank you.